Hi, this is the Gun Guy, and that is my Elemental Arms California Compliant AR-15. People have been giving me a lot of grief about that thing ever since I got it. I reviewed them, and I got one. I like it, and we took it to the desert to check it out. The whole deal with this, John, is that I got this. This is the Elemental Arms uh, lower. It's California Compliant. People give me grief all the time. I, I went ahead and got one after I reviewed it because I liked it. People give me grief all the time say, well, it's going to be inaccurate because it's got a wobble to it. Well, it's got very little wobble. I figure we're here. Call them for me. Let me know if I hit the steel. Let me... If I slobber the steel regularly. Now, I don't know how well sighted in the, the sights are, but we'll try it. Let me get on the but steel But it can't be that quick. inaccurate. Give me a second to focus. You ready? Uh, hold on. Let me focus. Which target? I'm going to go for the big, the, just the big steel. Okay. All right, here we go. Hit! Maybe one inch low and, well, maybe, yeah, an inch low. There, that was a little bit to the right, but also a hit. Also a hit. Also a hit. You're drifting right, though. You're, you're still on the right. Go left a little bit. I would, but I don't have any ammo left. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me drop this mag. Another one. And that's how easy that is. Hit. 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 It was so stinking hot out there that I had to grab the little uh, magwell, plastic magwell I had on the front of the rifle because the foregrip being metal got too hot for me to touch for any length of time. And yet, after firing a lot of rounds through the rifle, I mean, we went through several hundred rounds, it functioned flawlessly. Mag changes were seamless and easy. Um, I, It's my rifle, uh, this particular one, and I really like it. And I found it to be very, very accurate as we tested it on the steel. There it is. I found it. There you go. You found it all right. A bowling pin. I think something. I'm hitting the bowling pin. Yep, I can hear it. I can see it. All right, let's get the middle steel here. Am I hitting it? The uh, bowling pin or the little one? Middle one. Oh, the middle... Uh, I'm very pleased with this rifle. It shoots extremely well. It's very accurate. It, uh, I mean, obviously the sights make a difference. I was using a 4 MOA dot, uh, red dot sight, which kind of covered up the majority, if not all, of the target on a number of occasions, so it made it more interesting. But all in all, I think the rifle shot very well, performed very well. I really, really like it. You may have already seen the review that I did on this rifle, and if you did, you've already learned how it works. But if you haven't seen it, it operates in much the same way as other solutions would take your existing lower and make them work for California. The big difference here is that this is not an aftermarket fix for your existing lower. This is a lower that was specifically built to solve the California problem. There's some positives and negatives to that. The negative is you can't buy a little kit and change your existing lower. You've got to buy a new lower. So nobody likes to do that. I get it. The positive is that existing AR-15 lowers are not made to be opened and closed all the time. It's not designed to have that back pin pulled and the thing tilted forward to get your mag out all the time. This lower, on the other hand, was built from the ground up to do this. So as a result, there are areas of the lower that are strengthened a little bit so that it won't eventually fail because it has to be opened and closed to drop your mag. 
that's to me was very positive. The other thing I've, I've noticed is people complain that they're, well, it's, it's going to be loosey goosey because you can push the back button and it just pops open. Well, no, <laughs> it's not loosey goosey. That's the first thing. This is actually an upper that belonged to me. It was on my other rifle. Uh, I took it off and put it on here because I sent my grip in to have a grip wrap made by Solar Tactical. And while I'm waiting, I wanted to have my rifle. And this is my Elemental Arms AR-15 California Compliant Lower. I liked it so much I went and got one. So now I have one, and I just took a random upper and put it on there, and it's tight as tight could be. I did the same with my wife's rifle. I put her upper on there, tight as tight can be. I've, I've swapped out a couple of them. They're all really nice and tight. Now, the other thing is that the accuracy is pretty much in the upper, not in the lower. So, you know, if, the, if it, you're going to lose accuracy if it's really floppy, but honestly, this has no more give or shake than any other AR-15 I've ever shot. So I think that's a misnomer. In case you don't know how it works, now the, the bolt is open. You have to close the bolt, push the rear button. That allows you to tilt things forward. Push your mag release. The mag comes out. Close it back up again and insert your mag again. And that's all you got to do. So there's one additional step. Now, I did a couple of things to make this faster and cleaner for me that I want to suggest to you if you happen to get this type of solution or if you're using one of the aftermarket ones. And I'm going to tell you what those are in just a second. But first, I want to show you these names, the names of these people for whom I'm extremely grateful. These are the folks who have decided to help us out on Patreon. And in some cases, these folks just went on our website, clicked on the donate button and donated money for no particular reason other than they wanted to support the channel. I am extremely grateful for these folks. So if you see your name up here, I want to tell you right now, thank you very much for your support of the channel. I am deeply appreciative. Uh, we've tried to put names up here and name people as they have helped us out, and I'm grateful. If you don't see your name on one of the videos we've done this with, uh, then please let me know, and I'll make sure that you get credit for helping us out here at Gun Guy TV. We're very, very grateful that you do, because honestly, with the revenue disappearing pretty much from YouTube, we do have ads running again. They're, they're starting to come back, but we're still only at about 15% of the revenue that we had at one time. It went from whatever it was down to about 3%, and now it's back up to 15. Well, we still need money to operate, so your help is vital. We're pretty much at this point, we're pretty much viewer supported. There it is. So if you haven't helped us out on Patreon, I urge you to do that. Or if you like, you just want to throw a tip in the jar, you can go to our website at Gun Guide TV and just uh, click on the donate tab and put a little tip in the jar if you want to, as little or as much as you like. And by the way, Patreon is only a buck a month at minimum and you'll never miss the dollar, but it helps us a ton. All right, back to this and what I did. Since I had shot their rifle quite a bit and then uh, got my own and went out and shot it, one of the things I discovered was the process of having to uh, lower the, having to drop the bolt every time I wanted to change mags was a pain because the bolt stays back. All right, you realize you're empty, you can't release your mag, and you can't release the back pin. You have to first drop the bolt to release the back pin to drop the mag. That's what you got to do, and that's the order in which you got to do it. Then you can put your new mag in. Well, that was just one step too many, and it became cumbersome for me to figure out. And I didn't want to have to train myself so awkwardly that when I went out of state, or if God willing and the river don't rise, we can get these laws changed so that we can go back to a standard configuration. I didn't want to have to completely change muscle memory in order to change my, my mag. So what I did is I went ahead and filed the little uh, edge off of the bolt catch so it won't hold the bolt open on the last round. Instead, the bolt stays closed. I press a trigger. I got a dead trigger. Then at that point, I can push this, drop mag, change mag, rack my bolt, and go again. And I, I have been practicing racking right-handed, left-handed. I've discovered I prefer keeping the weapon up here, uh, press, you know, drop my mag, insert a mag, rack my bolt here, and I'm back in the game again. And after shooting it at the desert a lot, shooting it a lot, I've discovered that works really, really well. So that's one thing I did. The other thing I did is I installed this little forward grip right here. Now, it's not a forward pistol grip, so it's legal in the state of California. It's Essentially, it's a mag well. I got it from Stark. And I really like them. I got one on my other rifle, and I had this one uh, as well, and I'm going to order a couple more. But one of the reasons I like it is it gives me a little bit easier, uh, kind of a sloping mag well to get my mag in a little faster, but it also gives me a little grip on the front. Well, let me tell you, <laughs> it does a couple things. One, you'll notice when you let this go, 
the, the upper only rotates so far forward, so if you don't happen to be holding onto the upper at the time, it doesn't flop forward and make you look like a fool. It just allows you to drop your mag and then you can push it back. That helped me a lot to get past the learning curve. The other is that when you're out in the desert and it's 113 degrees or 117 degrees or something, this gets really hot, but this allows you to grab a hold of something on the front of your rifle since it's polymer. It doesn't get hot and you don't necessarily need a glove and that's what I found I was doing out in the desert. So the combination of the little mag well with the grip on the front was very positive. It helps me cycle the rifle a little faster and get it moving a little quicker. And then taking out the last round bolt hold open uh, helped a lot too. I, I don't like losing that but honestly I shoot AKs so much and my Sega rifle doesn't hold open. So I've gotten so used to that that I don't find it to be a detriment. If anything, it just speeds up my ability to change my mag. And it's gotten me back to the point where, with some practice, I've gotten to the point where I can, I can change mags with this rifle just as fast as I can with my other one. That's quite an accomplishment when you're dealing with all the restrictions here in California. So there you are. There's another look at the Elemental Arms uh, AR-15 lower, and this one is mine. And if that tells you anything, <laughs> I liked it enough that I went and I got one. Uh, I like it quite a bit. Uh, they also make uppers, and I'm going to uh, get one of those from them. i got to save up a little money to do it. And as soon as I get one, I'm going to review their upper as well, because they do make complete rifles. They also make some great ammunition. All the ammunition I was shooting in the video, and in recent videos, if it's 5.56, I'm using their ammunition because I'm trying to support them. They're right here in San Diego County, California, in a little town that's a suburb called El Cajon on Pioneer. I think they're right off Pioneer. Neat company, great guys, and uh, so if you get an opportunity to support them, please do. It's Elemental Arms. I'll put a link to their stuff in the description. And if you have questions about this gun or uh, you'd like to see more of it or see me do more things with it, just let me know. So far, I'm very, very pleased with it. Uh, as you know, I've sent my, my grip for my other rifle off to uh, Solar Tactical, so they're going to get back with a grip wrap, and then I'll be reviewing that. And then I have another product similar to that for an AK that we're going to be reviewing soon as well. Thank you again for watching. Have a wonderful week, and please be safe.